I'm an AKA. Of course my dues are a million dollars. I'm an AKA. Of course I'm standing on business. I'm an AKA. Of course I was the original Barbie. I'm an AKA. Of course he put a ring on it. I'm an AKA. Of course I could ever be in first place. I'm an AKA. Of course I woke up like this. I'm an AKA. Of course I swing my hair when it's a pixie cut. I'm an AKA. Of course I'm not waiting in line. I'm an AKA. Of course I'm the full package. I'm an AKA. Of course I don't wear the same outfit twice. I'm an AKA. Of course I'm a D mama. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh man, every day that I'm trying to move on and try to find other content to talk about, Funny Willis just keep on giving. Another bombshell has emerged. Yes, this Funny Willis, man, she gonna just, I'm gonna keep talking about her until the wheels fall off. <laughs> Another witness has come up and said Terrence Bradley was lying that, uh, her lover Nathan Wade indeed had a garage door opener. Another person has come forward, another officer of the court. His name is attorney Manny Aurora, former adjunct professor at Georgia State School of Law. Apparently, he's a friend of Terrence Bradley's. Terrence Bradley, he talks a lot. He's willing to testify that Terrence Bradley, same time period, September, October 2023, this past fall, Aurora claims that Terrence Bradley told him the relationship began when Willis was running for DA in 2019 through 2020. And he adds that Mr. Wade, this is what this guy learned from Terrence Bradley, had a garage door opener to the property. This rung a bell with us because Ashley Merchant, I think was also told this by Terrence Bradley because she raised it when he was on the stand. We pulled the saw, watch. Do you recall that he had a garage door opener to either a house or a condo or something like that of Miss Willis's? I've never seen a garage door opener. So no, I do not have any personal knowledge of him having a garage door opener. Do you have any knowledge at all from Mr. Wade or any source that he had a garage door opener to access one of Ms. Willis's residents? And I'll object to the, any source as to hearsay. All right, depends on the source. I ruled. No, I'm not. No, I don't have any knowledge. So, got him, caught him lying too. Mr. Bradley, I hope it was worth it because your ass is going down too. Now we have another bombshell, all right? It seems like her sorority sister, Kamala Harris, the vice president, has come down to Atlanta. Her, Fonnie Willis, and the mayor, Mr. Dixon here, had done a little collusion. They had a little powwow meeting on how to handle this. One of the other things I did was I, I did a open records for... The, the White House access, and we had records that um, Ms. Willis and the mayor of Atlanta were at meeting with the vice president. Okay, and so this is the access uh, history. How, how does that work? The White House keeps records of anybody that comes in and has any kind of official meeting for sure? Yes, and, I, and my understanding is it's, it's highly regulated who, who can access the White House, and so you have to apply in person or apply ahead of time, and then they give you a, a time when you make the appointment, and they give you a time when you're allowed to be in and when you have to be out by. They're publicly available. They're open records. And this record that's shown on the screen shows Fonnie Willis was a visitor with the POTUS, I presume that's Vice President of the United States? Yes, yes it was. And what was the date of that back in, was that February sometime of 23? February 28, 2023. Is that before the indictment? Yes. Miss Willis 
has written a book. Find me the votes, right? While she was writing the book, she had details of how she was broke, how she was living paycheck to paycheck. A lawyer, guys. That book, um, also, we talked about it somewhat in our hearing because it goes into a lot of details about the financial troubles that Miss Willis had prior to becoming DA. A lawyer. I, a friend told me, man, it don't, it don't matter how much money a woman makes, she's always broke. And this is a professional woman, a lawyer, who is living paycheck to paycheck. So she wrote a book and was trying to capitalize off the book, giving details that nobody knew about. And and she was trying to prosecute Mr. Trump. Troubled about this Find the Votes book. Are you saying that the prosecutor has been discussing an ongoing prosecution and her prosecutorial strategy and indictment strategy to authors of a book during the course of the prosecution? Yes. And yes. that book has now come out? It is. So, yes, it was all to enrich herself. She hired Mr. Wade to funnel money through him back to her. What's the owner name of this phone? Um, the, the name that would appear on, say, a Bluetooth device is found on line uh, 32, which is uh, Gorilla Grip Pussy Pal. Okay. Now we have Fanny Gorilla Grip Willis in big trouble. Now, she could call herself Gorilla Grip all she wants, but if somebody else had called her a gorilla, a monkey, or something, it would have been racist. Racism. Trump is a racist and all this. MAGA's a racist. But she could call herself Gorilla Grip Kunani Pal all she wants, right? And everybody said, girl, you go, girl. You got that snatch, girl. <laughs> Whatever. Every time I took a trip with my lover, I paid... I paid him in cash. Where the hell did you get the cash? You know, what a lot of what a lot of bullshit. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say this again, and I'm gonna stand on this. All right, the sorority Alpha Kappa Alpha, they're nothing but looks, no substance, no brains at all, nothing but incompetence. We have Kamala Harris, the VP. We all know how she slept away to the top. And we have Fonny Gorilla Grip Willis over here who who gets around it with a client, with thugs, and a bum that she procreated with. Not too bright. All right? So miss me with all that uh, ski-wee shit. All you girls out there who are still supporting Fonny Willis, well, I want you to raise your hand up in the air, right? And then slap yourself. Okay, because the church, Big Bethel, you guys are awful. You gave her an award for sleeping around and what, because she's black? She's a black woman? You too. Raise your hand in the sky, wave them to the side of side, and then slap yourself. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Woo. Anyway, that's my thoughts for the day. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you gorillas, get off my lawn.